Hey guys, Gabe here, that guy, Breadstick, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Platinum. Last episode, we took on the Eterna Forest and helped Cheryl get through the entire thing. In this episode, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to go and take on some fishermen on Route 205. Now, obviously, we're going to do a lot more than that, but that's just the premise of today's episode, is that we're going to go take on a lot of fish. Yeah, and that's the entire thing of the episode. Second on fish. Kind of regretting my life. But we're out here. Anyways, so I hope you all had a great, um, Chris, or not Christmas, um, New Year's Eve. If you're watching this on New Year's Eve, um, or whenever you're watching it. But yeah, because that's when I'm recording it. Because I have nothing else to do with my life. It's fine. Alright, <laughs> so we, we have to be killed the Goldane. I think there's a couple trainers over on Route 211 side that we can go also go take care of. Which will probably be a lot better for us, um, for the long run but we got a lot of work to do today but do not fret we will get past it like any other trainer that you see but i mean besides that there's not much else that we're doing today so buckle up guys i mean at least for this episode because we'll probably do this this episode um the gym and probably um the hideout that's what i'm thinking our order will probably be the Probably be. Probably be? I don't even know. But anyways, that's fine. Um, so we got a magic heart. We got five more. A little six. I don't know if I like this, but we're out here. Alright, we got another magic heart here. Let's do a wing attack. And almost. Let's do that. And perfect. And a magic carp, it looks like. I mean, I don't even know how else I commentate this. <laughs> You're fighting six magic carps. It like I, I think I, it's, it's like almost equivalent to like six metapods. What if they were all level 100 and only new splash and then he ma and then he max potioned every single one of them? I'd be actually upset. I mean, I don't even know how to like really even go on with this battle. Um, but do I have any any like choice? Probably not, because we just defeated another magic carp. Oh, and look, um, Fisherman Andrew, of course it's, of course his name's Andrew, he just wants to piss me off even more. Got another magic card, level 14. Don't know how you're that high, but it's fine. Um, yeah. I don't know, some people tend to frust me, frustrate me, and that trainer seemed to frustrate me a lot. But I'm hoping that we'll have some better matches on the other side. Probably not. That's probably my life. But, um, yeah. But I don't want to take on the... I don't want to take on, um... The gym this episode. I'd rather take it on next episode. But we'll see what happens. Sometimes you don't get your wish. And level 22. I will take it. A Goldeen. Oh, and it's Zach. It's Zachary and Andrew. Another person that pissed me off. Water. Useless water Pokemon for now. But okay, you did that. That is absolutely nothing, man. Come on. Like, bro. There we go. Better, I guess. Magikarp. And wing attack. Did it work? Find out next time on Sonic X. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Roll in the speed of the. Oh no. I'm kind of just moving and strooving and grooving. Alright, um. So we. Completed all the trainers on this area, which I thought was going to take a little bit longer than it actually did, but no. I mean, we got done with it pretty fast. I'm going to go ahead and do some looking around. Alright. 
Nope, nothing. Dum bum. Dum bum bum bum. And it's a Bidoof. You know what? I like me some Bidoof. Alright. I know we can't get a bike until after the, after the, um, not the gym specifically, the other thing. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's the, actually, wait, hold on. I need to grab the Soothe Bell and give it to Lola, because Lola definitely needs that in order to level up with friendship. Let me grab that real quick. Where is it? Ugh. It's in my items chest, or part of the bag, which I think is kind of funny how, like, um, a chopple berry. Yeah, I'll take the chopple berry. Like, so if you like, see that bag's highlighted. Then here is where the medicine is. Here's where the pokeballs are. Here's where the TMs are. Here's where the berries are. The mail, the battle items, and then the key items, which I think is actually kind of cool to see how it's like located in specific parts of the bag. I wish I had a bag that did had multiple pockets like that. Um, but now we are in Eterna Forest, and oh, we got berry here. Good. Hey, Breadstick, you came to see the Pokemon statue, right? I'll take you there. Alright, that's not what I was here to do, but okay. What the? So, this is Eterna's Pokemon statue. Shaping our world, our time and space, in an intertwining spiral. Re rev er, revered in Sinnoh. Revered in Sinnoh are the Pokemon of time and space. Sinner's myth. That it's true. It's truth needs as investigation. Pardon me. Stand aside. Oh, hey. When we smacked together, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me. An easy way to become a great trainer. Yeah, that? Alright, listen close. Make certain all your attacks hit. Avoid enemy attacks for sure. You do that, you never lose. You'd be the invincible trainer. Anyway, go check out the Pokemon statues. See you around. Well, I don't want to check it out. I want to go and see if I can... Oh. Oh, that device you have. It is a Pokedex. What it brings. Wow, it brings back some memories. Pardon me, but what's your name? Oh, hello, Breadstick. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I am a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, and just out of curiosity... Here in Eterna F City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? According to the myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may have encountered something like it when you were traveling with your Pokedex. Oh, I know. Try using this. It should be helpful. HM01 Cut. Remember, the hidden move, Cut, can be used in the field. It will let you go places that were previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then luck better be with you, Cheddar. Oh, that's one last thing. Please give my regards to Professor Rowan. Interesting. So we got... Hey, you. Yeah, you, trainer. Eh, it's okay. Never mind. You look tough. I won't take... Um, I'll just let you keep your Pokemon. Carry on. Interesting. But I'm pretty sure we can't get a bike until after we be defeat the gym next episode. And on top of that, um, yeah, because see, he's like... The manager's gone off to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. I wonder what's holding him up. Probably he's stuck. You see the trees that are in front of there? Not much you can do about that. Alright, what is this? Um, name rating services available. Okay, that's that's cool. Um, hi, I'm Gardena. I'm this town's gym leader. My last challenger was this awfully speedy young guy. Actually, his name was Andrew. He told me about you. He said that another challenger's on its way, so that made me angsty. At a gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until the end. The challenger has to beat all the other gym challenger trainers first. I'll be waiting for you in the back, trainer. Don't disappoint me. Alright, so I mean, that's probably what we'll do next episode. But I'm pretty sure it's like this guy right here. Breadstick, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You wondering who I am? I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Dawn's father. I've come a long way to help you on your adventure at the, po at the professor's behalf. Breadstick, let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? Oh my, you met 37, Pokemon. Wonderful, yes, bravo. Pokemon Rowan should be delighted. Here is something for you. And this is exactly why I wanted to come down here to grab this EXP share. We can't go actually on into the route until next, until we get a bike, because that is the cycling road. Um, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and take the EXP share and plop it down onto Lola. Even though I probably should have kept Lola with the Soothe Bell. But Lola's not going to get any levels anytime soon. So just, I don't think it's really worth it. Um, I don't know. 
Maybe I, I don't want to switch out Lola because I love I love Lopunny, but it's just also a normal type. Normal times aren't great, but I might just keep it for the time being. Um, I guess I'll decide later down the road. Hey, you there, kid. Stay away from that Pokemon statue. Team Galactic's conducting an investigation here. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to it. It's a Tornado City's Pokemon statue. There seems to be a descriptive plate that appears to be torn off. Well, that's no fun. I wanted to read Cool Plate, but I guess I can't. Alright, we're in Route 211 now. Alright. Let's see. See how Mount Cornet tor towers above us? I want to be a big like that one day. Dum, 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 da, da, dum, 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 dum. I'm gonna try to go into all the Mount Cornet trainers for how many there are, because I don't know which areas have what, like, stuff. But we're just gonna go ahead and hit a wing attack, even though if it's not very effective. Um, probably do some decent damage. I need to check out Lopunny's. I know Lopunny's a pretty good Pokemon stat wise, besides special attack. But I'm just trying to see. Like, what, what can it learn in Gen 4 that would be very helpful? Because I know it can learn, like, array of moves. Like, look, it can learn Ice Beam. That'd be good. Alright. I'm gonna have to switch out to Inferno here. It can learn Pounce. Jump Kick. See, look, it can learn, like, a pretty decent array of moves. But having Ice Beam and Blizzard might be a good idea. I'm trying to, like, look just to, like, kind of see. Get a get a little array of different things that are going on. But, hey, it looks like Lopunny might actually be a pretty good Pokemon to use. So I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be upset about it. But I remember Twigs was a good Pokemon that gave me, um, a lot of help through the series. So I'm not going to complain if I get a Twigs. Alright, let's go ahead and do a mock punch. Oop. Screech. But I also think that having a... Hopefully I get a dark type or a ghost type move soon. So that will help me with um, Fontina's gym. Because I know that's going to be a little bit of a tough one. Because I don't have anything that really attacks dark or ghost types yet. So, or that has dark or ghost type moves on it. Which would be a big help if I can grab that. But, I mean, as of right now, don't have anything really to help me out there in that particular area. Um, it looks like we can rock smash a couple of things. Alright. And then you need strength afterwards. So, I mean, we can't go necessarily far into the cave. So, I mean, we're just gonna ex exit. Um... And I'll go ahead and rock smash this one. Ow. And I saw another trainer down here. And I don't know what's on. What? Why are you like... Is there a Pokeball that you're, that you're guarding? You're just like, I saw it. So I'm going to stand right here and wait for whatever to happen. I don't know. But I've got Raven here who is very, very low health. And I didn't realize how low Raven was. So... We're gonna try to hit a wing attack and see if we can get away with this. I don't think we will though. Oh, maybe. I guess your stats are that low or my stats are that high. One of the two. But we'll try another one just to see what happens. Hoot hoot. I should probably heal after this battle though. Probably a smart idea. Let's do a wing attack though. Bro. Oh, I missed the hypnosis. Let's go. I'll take it. Alright. I wonder if, like, two or one stage evolution Pokemon have boosted stats. You would think so, right? Because it doesn't get that extra growth in the evolution. But that might just be me. Alright. Taunt. I already have you. Not as a TM, but on my, on my Inferno, apparently. Big apparently, because I didn't even know I did. Um, but I thought we had another trainer over here somewhere. It looks like I think we do. Oh, my shot. Interesting. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and run and try to heal up. I think that might be the best plan of action here. 
Um, bag. Yeah, let's go ahead and heal up. And 51's not bad. Do we have any berries? I know I don't really pick up berries, but there's a good chance that I might have some on me. Weakens a foe's super effective fighting type attack. Alright, that'll probably be a good thing against someone else. But there we go, there's the ninja boy. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Dum, 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 uh, all right, um, let's go ahead and hit a wing attack. I guess we'll just do three wing attacks, and I think that should be pretty good for us. All right. Nice. Zubat. All right, I think we're in a pretty good position right now, so I'm not going to complain much. Alright, there we go. Alright, there we go. Um, uh, I'll keep you out, why not? I was contemplating it, but I think this is probably the better move to do here. Let's do another wing attack. And there we go. I think my Pokemon are pretty, pretty ready for this gym battle. Except, except Bidoof, but Bidoof, you're, I don't know, we'll decide what we do with you. Ah, uh, get out of this battle. Perfect. Alright, bro, I knew I was gonna have to speed up past the grass, because things just don't go my way sometimes. But with that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Once you do, join that Breadstick Battalion. Make sure to check out my other channels in the description below. Make sure to check out my Twitch, my Discord, and my other social media. But besides that, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.